shout hallelujah. If you know that the Lord has met with you during this section of worship, I want you to lift up your hands to the heavens. All I want you to do is to appreciate your maker. Tell him you are good in my life. I give you a praise. Can you just love him? Let everything in you love the Lord. Let everything in you love the Lord Almighty. God in three persons. Bless the Trinity. Love him, love him, love him and lift up your hands. Start saying, he has done great things. So, therefore, I am rejoicing before him. So, therefore, I love him this morning. Anywhere you are, love the Lord. Pick a song in your heart to him. Love him, and love him, and love him, and love him. Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. I give you a praise. I love you. I honor your name. I love you. I appreciate your majesty. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord Jesus. I love you. I love you, Lord Jesus. Say, Lord, I love you. I give you a praise, Lord Jesus. Indeed, you are God in my life. Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior. In my heart, oh, cry. What an order thou hast gone. Only do not pass me by. Do not pass. I say Savior, Hallelujah, Oh Savior, yeah, my humble cry, yeah, my humble cry, what an order thou hast gone. Do not pass me by. Lift up your voice and shout as a say. to me and he showed me a particular woman he said to me something fell off from your body I believe it's your child either in the dream or in the physical the Lord is saying this is the reason since that time your children have not been doing well they are of age but there is nothing that you can say this is a good record concerning them but the Lord is saying when you sing this song very well Pass me not, O oh, gentle Savior, that I will attend to you. That's what the Lord is saying. I don't know for how many years, for how many months that has been happening. Even if your child is not of age or your children are not of age, and this has happened to you, this is a very bad nemesis. You are going to say, Lord, do not pass me by. There is something concerning that child, and the future of that child might not be secure. Because that child is being withdrawn from your back. You are going to sing a song to him. Don't pray. This is a prayer pattern you are going to do. Do you understand that now? Say, Savior. Let your voice be louder. Hey, Savior. My heart.
Let your voice be louder. God will do something. God will do something. Sing it now. The Lord will do something. Love of our children. Come on. Sing it now. Sing it now. My heart. Upon your head. Please shout it out. Hey, as a Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm a humble Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 and 19. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 and 19 says, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. And verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Can somebody shout out amen? Yeah. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness. And the rivers in the desert. I pray today. To that person that you are expecting God to do that new thing in you. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let God make it work in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In that area where you are believing God for the new thing. You are saying Lord. How will you do it? You have done it before. But suddenly something happens. I don't know how it happens. But you are not asking God. That all of my God I want you to do it. I pray concerning that your matter. By the power of God we can shout out of amen. Why you let God perform that you in the name of Jesus? Amen. If you have been saying. When will it happen again? It has happened before. The Lord is saying. Now it will happen. Amen. Oh, can you shout out amen very well? Amen. The Lord is saying, now it will happen. Amen. The Lord is saying, now it will happen. Amen. I pray for that person that something suddenly stuck in your life. No moving forward. And you are just stuck at the bus stop of no hope. I pray in the name of Jesus, if your three amen can be a shouting word, let God take over. Amen. Say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. By power. By power. Can you shout and say Holy Ghost? Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. By power. By power. Somebody you are watching online, you have been doing what is called adult bed wetting. You know I'm talking to you. The Lord is saying, when you see this some very well, anywhere you are, hey, this time is not a barrier. The Lord is saying, all you need to do is to concentrate here. He's going to stop that adult best wedding right now. Amen. Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. By power. By power. Can you show this? Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. By power. By power. Can somebody shout this? Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. By fire. By fire. Say, Holy Ghost. I need your help. By power. Holy Ghost. I need your help. By fire. Holy Ghost. I need your help by fire. Holy Ghost, I need your help by fire. Holy Ghost, I need your help by fire.
and so your business is not working right. The Lord is saying, I want to visit your business, but I need to decorate you first. Please, I want, if you fall into that category, I'm not calling you out. I want you to shout where you are. The Holy Ghost, I need your help by fire. Is that okay? Anywhere you are, that is what you are going to shout. If your business is not working, or the business of your spouse is not working well, say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Can somebody shout it very loud? Holy Ghost. Say, I need your help. I need your help. By fire. By fire. Can somebody shout to say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need your help. I need your help. By fire. By fire. If you want your work, your business, your career to start working, say Holy Ghost. I need your help. By fire. Holy Ghost. I need your help. is not the way. Please, I want your hair to be louder. The Lord the decorator that can decorate. Oh yeah, let that God take over. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that student. It has been issued in your heart when you read, you don't remember. The Lord is saying as you tell you, there is a season of remembrance in your life because you will start remember good things will happen. Oh yeah, let it happen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody say, you have fought almost all your helpers in the past. And there is no one to help you again. Now that you need helper, there is no one coming your way because you have fought them all. Instead of you to get the benefit, you use your character to change the main half. But the Lord is saying, there is a second chance. Amen. So I want that person to shout out, amen. If you have just away your helpers, I pray in the name of Jesus, let God connect you back in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, let God call out to back in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to sing your song again. Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need a change. I need, I need a, a change. change. By fire. By fire. Can you shout it? Say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. I need a change. I need, I need a, a change. change. By fire. By fire. Say, Holy Ghost. I need a change. By fire. Holy Ghost. I need a change. Holy Ghost. I need a change. By fire. Holy Ghost. I need a change. You better shout it. Holy Ghost. I need a change. By fire. Holy Ghost. I need a change. By fire. Aha. Of Psalm 40, verse 2. Psalm 40, verse 2 says, He brought me up also out of the horrible pit. I pray in the name of Jesus, anything that represents horrible pit in your life, God will bring you out. Amen. Can you hear me be louder? Amen. Amen. Anything that represents horrible pit in your business, God will bring you out. Amen. Anything that represents horrible pit in your marriage, God will bring you out. Amen. Amen. Anything that represents all the people your destiny, God will bring you out. Amen. He said, He brought me up also. Brought me up also. Oh my God. The heaven will bring you out of the only people in the name 
Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pray today. Maybe your horrible bit is poverty. Your own is lack. Your own is when you gather, somebody come there to scatter it. Your own horrible pit is children dying in your hands. Your own horrible pit is your womb refused to carry children. Your own horrible pit might be that you do not have what is called academic excellence. Your own horrible pit is it that you have a good starting but poor finishing. I pray today in the name of Jesus. Anyone other than the Son of God to me. The audible pits have been the statement of your life. Everybody close your eyes. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, you come out of the horrible pit. Amen. As they come out of the horrible pit. Amen. As they come out of the horrible pit. Amen. Today, if your own horrible pit have to do with your foundation, I pray today, every organizer of horrible pits that suddenly slink into the system of your life and that of your family. God, we bring you out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Huh? Oh Lord, Lord, my, my Father. Father. If I'm any form of horrible pit, say, by your power, by your power, by your right, by your right, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, bring me out. Bring me out. Oh, yeah, in the name of Jesus. Bring me out. Out of the horrible pit, in the name of Jesus. Let God bring you out. say and he brought me out of the medical and set my feet upon the rock and established my going if there is a language that is against your establishment they are saying to you what can what is that thing that will happen to you anymore you have tried all you could but in, in instead of that failure at all levels I pray today in the name of Jesus. If God is the one that said we should be here together, I declare in the name of Jesus, God will establish your going. Amen. Amen. Can somebody declare, say, My God will establish my going? My God will establish my going. That what I see about myself. What I see about myself. That is contrary to what I'm supposed to see. That is contrary to what I'm supposed to see. It is not the system of my life. It is not the system of my life. So therefore, so therefore, by the order of God, by the order of God, any system in my life, any system in my life, when you walk against the system of God, when you walk against the system of God, in my life, so hear the word of God, hear the word of God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I'm clapping my hands, oh yeah, this right by fire, this right by fire, this right by fire. Anything you see in the life of your spouse that is against the standard of God in you, let it destroy. You better clap your hands and shout it out. Uh -huh. Fire, fire, fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be praying concerning recovery by prophecy. Say everything that has been stolen away from me. I recover them all by prophecy. by prophecy. Say, I enter into the season of recovery by prophecy. by prophecy. Say, so therefore, so therefore I, recover I recover everything, everything that, is that is good, pleasant, pleasant and, right, and right that it be so in the way from my hands, from my, hands, from my body. From my Say, in the name of Jesus, I recover it. Shalom, amen. Can you shout Amen. This is the day of recovery and the day of prophetic. Amen. By the grace of God, I don't know exactly what is wrong in you, what is wrong with you. God Almighty, that brought us here today, we may amend and make it right in the name of Jesus. Amen. Second Kings chapter 2, verses 19 and 21. That is going to be our anchor scripture. Very important, we need to read it. Second Kings chapter 19, chapter 2, verse 19 and 21. He says, and the man of this city said unto Elisha, behold, I pray thee, the situation of this city is pleasant. Mm. 
the situation of this city is what? It's pleasant. Has my Lord said, but the water is not, and the ground is barren. Can we read verse 20 together very loud, and clear? Verse 20 together very loud, and clear. Want to go? And he said, bring me a new cruise, and put salt therein. And they brought it to him, and he went forth unto the spring of the waters, and cut the salt in there. And say, Thus the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or parent land. I pray today, any unpleasant situation in the life of this man or this woman looking at me and watching me, I pray in the name of Jesus, heaven will stop it. The Lord promised to raise two categories of people in this meeting. The upriser. What did I say? The Lord said he wants to make some people to be upriser. To your generation. To your environment. Elijah was a man that people will not want to reckon with. But because he followed his master diligently. And he turned to the upriser. Number two. The one that will receive the healing of God. Because the man of the city ran to him. That was the first, second assignment. The first one was to part the sea. Second assignment was to heal the land. I pray today. If there is any unpleasant situation in your family. Unpleasant situation in your personal life. Unpleasant situation in the place of your work. A pleasant issue that is growing with you. Saying, when T or E is about to get to the finishing, I will cut them short. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let God say to the name of Jesus. Say, the situation is pleasant as you can see. But the land is barren. Pleasant to look upon, but deadly in the inward part. The surface of Jericho was pleasant. But the source of supply was with a problem. You can see a lot of people, they, are, they look so pleasant when they wear clothes. You know, saying a cloth cover a lot of people's shame. Sit down and conserve energy. There are lots of people that what covers them is what? It's cloth. You know exactly what you are passing through. But today, the Lord is saying, no matter how deadly that issue and how many years it has telling you, God will set you today. Amen. Somebody is not shouting amen. amen. There's one of my sons in the Lord that cried to God and God delivered. I want to share a story of a pastor, a friend of mine that we were discussing yesterday. Devil lift up the hands of a particular man in his community. As a matter of fact, a member, one old man of 72. And he started to chase away members for him. He used to come and we are praying. We pray about it. We we'll go to them one on one. Ah, you want to meet with danger? Don't go to that place. One day we met and we prayed. And after that prayer, I went to that man. But I said, sir, you see, because I say I promise I'll be a son to you, the man started crying. But this man suffered it for three years. This man was a problem to him. But after prayer, he turned to a voice. This thing just said to some days ago. The man will carry your courty people to the front of the church. They do a lot of things there. And then you are fighting God. Whosoever that come to the center of your manifestation. Or to the center of my manifestation or the cross center. For today, they will bow. Anyone that stand against your marriage will bow. Everyone, I want you to say, Lord, amen. Anyone that stands at the center of your sources will bow. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today. If you look so pleasant, but nothing to reckon with. You have been suffering unpleasant thing with a pleasant body. You know it's possible. The man of God, I've heard their situation say, the water in their land used to keep people. Because it said, there shall be no more death, 
nor barren land. Meaning that barren land can kill. There will be no source of food. There will be no good water to drink. You don't need to do anything in that place. Say the water is so bad. The situation of the city looks so pleasant, but it's not pleasant. You have married to your right choice. But instead of you to get the right thing, you are not getting it. Pains, agony, and sickness have been the order of the day. But today, God will say to you. The water in that land was flowing, but it was worthless. Nothing to get in that place. You as a man, you have tried all manners of things. This is an indication that it is possible for things to look so real, but deadly as we are getting closer. There are some people you will not know their character until when you get closer to them. There are some people you will not get to know their evil intention until when you are closer. There are some people you will not know exactly what is fighting their life until when you get closer. I pray. Any power standing to frustrate the joy of God in your life. I declare in the name of Jesus, hold your leg up, frustrate your right. A lot of people love from afar. But when they are closer, they love you from afar. But immediately they get closer to you and say, no. I'm not supposed to love this person. Some people will be singing your song. Immediately they get to you. No, I don't know that this is the person. Lord is saying to me, this has been the problem of a lot of people. I pray today. Anything that causes the object of hatred in your body, that of your spouse and that of your children, when people that should help come closer, they will run away. I pray, let their object bow to the lordship of the Almighty God. Let their object bow. I said, let it bow. In the name of Jesus, if your land has been producing bitterness, the land of your marriage has been producing bitterness, the land of your ministry has been producing bitterness, I pray in the name of Jesus, the ground of your children has been producing bitterness. Let there be sweetness. In the name of Jesus, the Bible described that land as a barren land. A barren person is somebody that cannot produce any good thing. A barren sister is not a woman that has not been able to deliver, but a woman that man are not coming to. Sometimes I have privilege to be with a woman, a lady, and they say, nobody has ever told me a lie. Is that no, is that no an embargo? Is that embargo calling you a emblem? Say nobody. And we pray. I said to her, nobody will touch you, but somebody will come. Because a lot of women are looking for people to come and talk to them. But you only need one person. Numbers of men that come to you in your lifetime does not matter. What matter is that man that say, I want to marry you and marry you? It does not matter how many ladies that you have ever met in life. What matter is that person? That God is saying is for you. So to a lot of people. That your case is like that case. Is a barren person. I pray today. Any form of barrenness that is attached to your beauty. Barrenness attached to your beauty. You look so beautiful. They said the land is pleasant. But barrenness is there. A particular woman came. Sometimes he goes, sir, I need marriage. I say, wait, God is saying your husband is coming. She used to come every Wednesday. But he said, one day he says, sir, I cannot wait. A man has just come. I said, that is not your husband. He said, sir. I, he, she ran away. And the next time she will come, I saw a, a, a side of the house. I've changed. He said, sir, I said, what happened? He said, is that man who? You told me, but now I cannot do anything. I've married him. I say, manage him till you will die. Because of what? She was unable to listen to a prophetic voice. It does not matter. But today is the day.
way of freedom. It does not matter for how long you have been in that difficult situation. Perventure, the husband you have married is not giving you joy. The Bible says, no matter how sorrow I stay over the night, but joy comes in the morning. I pray. I convert today to your new season in the name of Jesus Christ. Can that hear me be louder? Can you shout that louder? Amen. Happiness that has been six in your life. Since you have married to that person, let the happiness be restored back. In the name of Jesus, let that joy be restored back. I told you it's by prophecy. I declare and I prophesy into the life of somebody. It's like when you gather something, we come and siphon it. You are listening to this. Or you are watching this. You have gathered so much, you invest like 20 million on a particular business. I think that person is online. I hear this. That business is not yielding anything. As a matter of fact, you are regretting of being invested on that. But the Lord is saying, take a pause. What did I say? Pause. I'm speaking to that person, you are online. Lord is saying, pause for a while. Pause for a while. I will teach you another ideas that you follow. Because, and when you now get that idea, it will set the goose for you. But don't go back to that business because that is not your business. It is not every business that people go into that is good for everybody. It is not every woman that people get married to that is good for every man. It is not every destiny that you see that is befitting destiny. But I pray, if you have gone into your own business, and that business is yabbing you, I pray, that same God Almighty will adjust your mindset in the name of Jesus Christ. First Samuel chapter 30 verse 8. Look at 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 8 says, And David inquired and the Lord saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answer him, Pursue. Overtake. Say pursue. Overtake them. And he answer him, Pursue. Overtake them. He said to him, Pursue. Overtake them. Somebody is here today, you will pursue. Amen. And you will overtake. Amen. And he said, For thou shalt surely overtake them. And without fail, recover all. Amen. Anointing for recovery in your business. Anointing for recovery. Somebody is here. You are doing something with air. I see you touching somebody's air. Lord is saying that is not my plan for you and you know. Lord said to me, he has spoken to you through the mouth of so many prophets that what you should do. Lord is saying, pursue what you have heard, not what your mouth wants. The reason why you are struggling and they go back and lay, there is no one that meets up with another one. It's because you have refused to hearken to the voice of God. But the Lord is saying, go to what you have heard and it's going to favor you. Is somebody listening to me? I pray today concerning somebody, I say it's a prophetic day. Everything you have lost so ignorant, they are supposed to bless you before, between now and the end of this year. If you can shout out the heaven, oh yeah, let God return it back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, let the heaven return it back to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody is here. Your husband suddenly disappeared and traveled somewhere. Lord is saying, we call you very soon between now and end of this year. If you want to apologize, please wait a man call. Let me know. Then I will tell you the further thing. I will tell you the further thing. You know, I'm talking to you. God is saying that it will call. Because nothing is working for him anymore. And it's been told, if he didn't return back to you, he would die prematurely. And here it is. 
is going to call you between now and the end of this year. This is the word of God to that person. Second mm -hmm. Timothy chapter 2 verse 26. The book of Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 26 says, And that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. Can you stand up everyone? Who are taken captives by him at his will. That they may recover their own self. Lift up your hands. If there is anything that is missing in you. If there is anything that is missing in me. That we're supposed to get. I call for God in heaven. The Lord that cannot lie. That missing object that's supposed to do our life better. I pray in the name of Jesus. With your three louder, amen. Oh, yeah, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus if you are in any hold of Satan, say that they may recover their own self. Paraventure, there is something you have been battling with over the years. And you don't even know how to deliver yourself from it. God is the one that can deliver you. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, let God deliver you in the name of Jesus. Hosea chapter 9 verse 11. I'm going to declare the recovery of glory. Please, I want you to be attentive. Hosea chapter 9 verse 11 says, As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird. Ephraim is talking about the Ephraim himself and whosoever that associates with Ephraim. That is called by a name Ephraim. Say their glory shall do what? Shall fly away. Ephraim happens to be the great grandfather of some people. You may never know what it means said concerning your great grandfather. Say, as for Ephraim, he didn't say his glory. Do you see that? He said, their glory. He's talking about Ephraim and the generation of Ephraim. Their glory shall fly away like a bear from the bed and from the womb. And from where? The conception. Meaning that as soon as they open their eyes to see the world, from the womb, their glory will depart. There are lots of people that have tried a lot of things and they are unable to get it because of what? This prophecy is what is happening in their life. Here it is. Psalm 89 verse 44. Psalm 89 verse 44 says, Thou hast made his glory to cease and cast his throne down to the ground. I want to pray for somebody here. Every departed glory shall be restored back in the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to say amen as you stretch forth your hands. We are going to round up with this. Say, as for Ephraim, they are glory. Ephraim and whosoever that is called by the name Ephraim. Whosoever that associate with Ephraim. Whosoever that is star with Ephraim name. You may not know what it means concerning your great grandfather that is extending to your father and that can be seen in you. You may not understand what is happening to you. You may not know what the devil has done concerning that matter. But say, as for Ephraim, they are glory. They are glory. I pray again. Every departed glory shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Every assassinated glory shall be recovered in the name of Jesus. I want to go to what is I want to go to what is power. Lord, who God just by the power of the Almighty God, let the glory that is being stolen, the glory that is being killed. Let our glory be recovered in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory is different from body. There are lots of people that glory has been taken away, but their body is still active. They are walking up and down, but the glory is being departed. They do a lot of things that other people do. How would they know that something is wrong with their glory? They will not be able to meet up in life. They struggle more, but nothing to reckon with. The child of the cloth seller that is putting on rag. I will be interpreting it. 
the son of the pushaman, the one that kick that kick nama, that kick cow every time, but that is sitting cow. Oh my no what on the one that is sitting bow. Oh my no what on the son of a rich man that is begging to leave. I pray today. If you are that person that's supposed to have plenty, but you are gaining little and you are rejoicing in nothing. I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, let God restore you back in the name of Jesus. A woman is here with a great, with a chattered whatever, good person in accountancy, a particular force sent her to Ilani, Quara State. Send that to Quara State. I begin to hawk something that does not work life. Until when God brought her back, I pray for somebody today. One of my son, the Lord also told a particular woman, go and meet my pastor. The woman used to do well, working in a very good place, but suddenly she turned to a beggar, a graduate begging for nothing. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, what are you doing? Every power that recreates your glory. Oh, you let the power bow. I said, let the power bow. Let the power bow. You are not shouting that amen. I said, let the power bow. Every power that said they will finish your glory before the end of this year. They said the way they are dealing with you, the way they are going to hand with you. I pray. Oh, you let the power bow. Can somebody say, say my glory? You are not shouting, say my glory. My glory. Hear the word of God. In the name of Jesus, as I'm clapping my hands, oh, yeah, manifest, 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 manifest. Oh, yeah, you manifest, better shout manifest, in the name of Jesus. Manifest, 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 manifest. Shout it, manifest, shout it, manifest, shout it. Manifest, manifest, in manifest, Jesus' manifest, name we pray. Amen. Lift up your hands. I say the day of prophecy. A prophecy as I declare. Every wasted glory shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I say every wasted glory shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every glory that is being attacked, I pray in the name of Jesus, receive rest from attack in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 But we are better some women say, say, yeah, let us see my Power that said the way they dealt with your parents, the same way they will deal with you, with your mother. The one that said the way they have dealt with your father, the same way they will deal with you. You, they are living on pleasant life, and they said, no matter how great you have, you are going to live their life. I pray in the name of Jesus, if your amen can be louder. Oh yeah, let God destroy their right. Amen. amen. Somebody is not shouting in. I said, let God destroy their right. Amen. amen. Many years ago, I've shared this. One of a minister that we had many years ago. He had a ring and somebody was feeding it with okra. He woke up and saw raw okra in his mouth, filled up in his mouth. And it was in a dream. A particular demon came into his house before he became a minister, before he even joined us. It was when he came here that God delivered him. They took away the potency of that man. I pray today, this is real. I declare in the name of Jesus, every power that comes to your dream to feed you with affliction. Every form of afflicted junks you are fitting. Oh, you let God put it out of your body. Amen. I said, let God put it out of your body. Amen. One of my daughters in the Lord, before God healed her of HIV here, she said to me, sir, I was sleeping and somebody came with syringe and injected me. Those who join us, she has been marking register in General Hospital. I remember many years ago, I went to minister with Pastor Bola Olawale. She had been here to minister before. She ministered to less privileged and in the hospital. I think she has something to minister to HIV patients. Then that day, that year, say, Pastor Adeleke, you are going to be the one to minister this season. I got to General Hospital, I saw a lot of people with HIV cases. 
common. Both the rich and the poor. Both the beautiful and the beauty. But why you see there? But yet it's because the doctors have programmed their mind. They were rejoicing. A lot of them were delivered that time. They came here. I pray today. If God is the one that said to those people, I don't know any form of helmet you came with to this place today. I declare in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, let God say to you. Amen. I said, let God say to you. Amen. Is there anything blocking your womb from conception? I'm praying for the awaiting parents right now. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh yeah, let your womb be open. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can your hand be louder? Amen. Amen. I pray today, every wounded glory shall receive instant healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tabario gotofi farakpa. Glory is not the head. Glory is what is making your life to function. Do you hear me very well? Sometimes when we mention glory, the mind of people will go to the head. Your glory is not your head. Your glory is what is making you to function and you are becoming the best in life. That we make people to come to you and glorify God. It's because they see some things in you. There are many people to come and say, I submit my right to you because of what I've seen in you. There are many people to tell you, in the mix of everyone here, you have the befitting glory. They are not saying you have the befitting head. Glory is what makes the student to become the best in the class. Glory is what makes the woman that married to marry to a right two person and the marriage is working well. I pray today, every glory with injury, every glory with a wounded pattern, I pray in the name of Jesus with your several right in the name. Oh, you receive healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, glory. Every hurting glory. Oh, go to the the hurting glory, and people started doing something and it's not working for you. Oh, you receive freshness. Amen. Every accidental glory. As the dental glory, I pray in the name of Jesus, receive quick recovery in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every sick glory, receive compulsory healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Every lost glory shall be found in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every unhealthy glory shall receive wellness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can you shout out? Amen. 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 Isaiah chapter 4, verse 4. The book of Isaiah chapter 4 verse 5 says, And the Lord shall create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, and upon our assemblies, a cloud and smoke by day, and the shining of a flaming fire by night. For upon all the glory shall be a defense. Melinda shall be security. Glory under fear. Glory under threat. That glory under the hold of Satan. Glory that is under satanic surveillance. Glory that is under the wrong covenant. Glory under strange wind. When strange wind blow upon glory, the owner of that glory will be walking and nothing will be happening to that person. Glory that is under worst condition. Glory under that cloud of sorrow. That glory under compulsory lateness. No matter how you do, there will be lateness in all things. You are saying, by gathering grade in school to become master order or be whatever it's called, to have the PhD is the only answer. And later, nothing is happening. It's under compulsory lateness. That glory that is in the cage, I pray in the name of Jesus. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Psalm 49, verse 3 to 4 says, Psalm 94, Psalm 94, verse 3 to 4. Psalm 94, verse, 9, verse 3 to 4 say, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak at things? And all the workers of iniquities boast themselves. Upon who? Upon their glory. Here it is. A particular Mary in the book of Luke chapter 11. 
She was beautiful but with a demon on her inside. The man, the man in the book of Mark chapter 5 verse 1 to 20. And let me ask her, she was a madman of Gadara. In the book of Zechariah chapter 3, a particular high priest was there. Joshua the high priest. You know what? He was thinking that all, all of them thought that the good things were still working in them. But they never know that the glory is being manipulated. I pray today in the name of Jesus, stretch your hands. Every manipulated glory, I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be restoration. Amen. Amen. Now, you are going to pray. Can you hold your hair? Say my head. My head. I use you as a symbol of glory today. I use you as a symbol of glory today. And I command in the name of Jesus. And I command in the name of anywhere Jesus. Anywhere I find myself. That anywhere I find myself. I declare by the order of God. I declare by the order of God. Let my glory shine. Let my glory shine. Shall out the heaven. Amen. Shall out the heaven. Amen. Lift up your hands as you leave this place today. Allah no turn to a young man say. The Lord that repair and decorate glory. The Lord that make all things work according to his plan. That says, who is he that said the thing when I have not commanded it? The Lord that not the best in any man. I pray for that person. If your investment has not been working well this year, I pray, 2019, your investment will work well. Amen. Amen. There is a woman here, the Lord is saying, your business is working little, but you will gain more grand by January 18. Amen. 2019. Amen. You have been begging to secure a property for your business. He said to me, that month, it will provide for you what you have not struggled for. Amen. Can somebody shout out that image to that? Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. The Lord is saying, as you tell this I am. You have not advertised your business. But he said, I will advertise it for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for that person. I declare anywhere you go with your networking business. Men and women that might say we are not interested about it. They will come to you. How can we invest? How can we invest? I pray in the name of Jesus. God will first invest in it before man investment to come. Let God invest on that matter. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Can you start waving your hands unto the Lord? Thank God for his faithfulness, his love, his joy. Of standing the glory that is being restored. Thank God for withdraw your list, your name from among the list that your landlord have used for evil collateral. Begin to thank God for destroy the power fighting people in that house you are living. That is destroy them before you get to the house. Begin to thank God for securing your spouse. Anywhere your spouse may be. So appreciating God. For giving you unconditional love. And perfecting everything in your life. Hallelujah. For the Lord God of my
thank you for what you have asked us to do after the restoration of glory. Glory is not a cloth you put on. It is what is making you to call what you are called. I pray today that as many of us under this ocean anointing for recovery will rest on our part in the name of Jesus. Thank you faithful God. In Jesus name we pray. Can we shout some hallelujah unto the Lord want to go? Hallelujah. 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 Say glory. Do you have anybody in the house you have not connected?